Hello my soccer universe to a long overdue Ligue 1 video. Yes, I wanted to talk about Ligue 1 for quite a while and I did so in one minute videos, but for a dedicated video I never really found the time and maybe now that we have the winter break it might be a good time to talk a little bit about Ligue 1. But before that I also want to note this is the first time I made today adaptations to my office mainly namely there is a lamp that was hanging below that really prevented me from doing a video standing now that is removed I can make full use of my standing desk now which is actually quite fun because it allows me a little bit more to move around you see also a little bit more of the background it makes a more natural feel for the video and I'm really excited that I can do this now as well I may still do sitting standing however I feel but uh, it seems like a good quality to have in there um, the last time we made a league video was mid-september so uh where i said it's really hard to get a grip on this league meanwhile we have a little bit more of an idea i mean it's uh, really half of the season is played um and we'll talk about uh you know the teams that are doing well up there bottom and and so on more in general before i go into the last results because they are, i haven't made a one minute video and we look forward into the first round I think the biggest story in Ligue 1 this season was not on the top. Yes, we could have talked about title race, we come uh, to that a little bit later. But the big story is that Lyon have been sitting bottom of the table in complete free fall. Um, but recent form, actually they got three wins in a row, some of them are rather exciting. Maybe. It's not as bad as it is. It's still, it is still, it is Lyon. This is one of the most supported teams in France. One of the biggest teams, one of the most well-funded, however, under their new uh, ownership under John Texter. Does not look good. And it meant also they're going through a barrage of coaches. You know, they had Fabio Grosso come, coming in, who was terrible as well as it was before. I think with Laurent Blanc, now they have Piazage, an interim coach, who actually has seemingly got the turnaround. And if you look at it, I mean, there's still some good players in there. Uh, like like uh, Alexandre Lagerlagerset, first and foremost. But the team is not clicking and it does not look good. And the only thing that at the moment looks good for Lyon, despite the late turnaround, are their absolutely wonderful jerseys that they have been pulling out Yes, a Liga jersey review will happen sometime in the spring for sure. As it stands at the moment, Lyon have escaped the brunt of it and they are probably not as much in relegation trouble. They sit in 14th level with Mets, uh, level on points, level uh, in gold. The, the, the difference two points ahead of the uh, playoff zone, which is currently occupied by Toulouse, another uh, kind of negative disappointment. Uh, and then uh, they sit four ahead of Lorient and Clermont Foot. Clermont Foot, who actually had a really good season last season and now um, probably being outclassed. Also, you know, you, you a small team like that cannot stay on a, you lose players left and right. And also their cooperation partner in Austria, Austria Lustenau, is also not, not doing well, so they're kind of tied together. As for Lorient, uh, we said already a few years ago that they might go down and then they made the big escape, so I don't want to count them out just quite yet, but it doesn't look good. Also in the relegation zone still, we said already, Mets uh, might be you know newly promoted team. It's always hard to go there. Nantes is also sitting dangerously low. They are having some really rough results along the way, although they have been beating Nice also uh, at home. So, you know, there is a little bit there that might escape them. Um, as you see in the table, also Le Havre, newly promoted, actually uh, have had a good run and I don't think a Le Havre will get implicated there. Uh, they sit level on points with Montpellier and Stade Rennes. This is kind of the bottom half of the table. Fortunately, Liga have reduced to 18 teams, makes it a little bit more palatable. The whole thing, Stade Rennes, one of the major disappointments this season for sure. Uh, that's a team that is in uh, Europe uh, still is in Europe, but is gravely underperforming so far. If we look now at the top half, I mean, teams I probably could challenge or should challenge for Europe uh, is with Strasbourg. I think they will, with the head now, a good, uh, a good result, find themselves in the top half of the table. Also on a relatively decent run with three wins in a row. So they're sitting kind of uh, more mid-table right now. 
uh, but I don't think they will challenge for, for Europe. Stateras had actually a really good run uh, earlier this season, but now they're kind of falling a little bit back. Will Steel's magic is not quite working out so far, uh, which then leaves kind of for the other European spots. We have Lars, Champions League team, we have OM, and we have uh, Lille. Both of them are kind of mainstays in France for sure. Lille have had the occasional really good result. OM, I think, is sometimes struggling to get it going, but Gennaro Gattuso finally think of something where they had they actually celebrate four wins in a row before they had just now a draw that we will talk about but you know Gennaro Gattuso another Italian coach there are quite a few Italian coaches in league uh, might get the turnaround if OM stabilizes I actually can see uh, them making a run for the Champions League spot for Lille uh, under coach Fonseca um, I gotta see I'm not so convinced about Lille so far but you know I don't really have seen them as well uh, and they might actually lose a few players along the way and have a little bit the last three games they have not had a win which brings us probably to the biggest surprise if you look at the standings start Brest and yes I've told my work colleague who is from Brest that you know if he goes there just get me a jersey <laughs> because uh, that's a team I probably will need sooner or later and having been to Brest myself it would be a team that I actually should have in my collection as well nine wins for draws for losses for a small small team from um, uh, the Britannia uh, on the outer fringes if you like of France they're more or less at the Atlantic that's pretty amazing they at the moment sit in the Champions League qualification spot um, they might I don't think that they will make it but I can see them making a European spot uh, if they can, can conserve the form out of the last five games, four wins and only uh, one draw uh, and, and that draw was at home to Strasbourg, you know, and Strasbourg we said already was in good goal, good form. But uh, what they are really good is they are beating the teams that they are supposed to beat. I mean the run is mostly against teams from the bottom half, but they're getting the wins, they're getting the autos, wins. it's usually a good race, race to staying up there. Which leaves us with the title race. And in the title race, we the last time I made a longer video on Liga, we thought it will be Monaco that can mount a title challenge. Um, <coughs> maybe not quite. It has been a little bit fizzled out and some shock losses in there as well. <coughs> I think as soon as they lost uh, to Nice, it was kind of the Monaco magic was falling apart. Still, Adi Hütte is doing good work. The team is playing well. Uh, they're one of the more entertaining teams uh, to look at. Yes, the two losses, the two latest, latest losses are probably a little bit indicative of where, where it might be. They were hanging with PSG. However, there was a goalkeeping error in there and then PSG just having supreme uh, talent of Mbappe and the whole entire front line uh, that in just a second undid all the good that Monaco have done. And then, you know, in a game against Lyon where you probably should have won by a big margin, you just cannot get it done and you concede very late on. So Monaco still there on the first year under coach Adi Hütter, of course an Austrian coach, uh, who has done great work in Switzerland with Young Boys Bern, uh, breaking their curse for the title and ever since Young Boys Bern a perennial title contender. Also having done really good work at Frankfurt, almost guiding them into the Champions League through the league, also the uh, European um, Europa League semi-final in there where they lost on penalties to Chelsea. So only at Gladbach it did not work out quite so. So I think uh, we can give the coach some time. I think there's a chance that Monaco really could get mount a title challenge. Maybe not this season, potentially next, next season, but also hinges very much on the might that PSG can conjure up. And then we have Nice, who also have been sitting top of the table uh, with a very staunch defense, having were having for the longest time been a team that has not lost. I think in the top five leagues was the only team that was still unbeaten. Well, uh, they uh, got now two losses are uh, not not too long ago they lost at not in a uh, at, at the beginning of, of december a game that unfortunately was overshadowed by an ugly incident as yeah there have been quite some incidents in france and you know in my short videos i mentioned them above league uh, still has to work a little bit on the image but the um 
in that sense. Uh, the other thing is they lost uh, to promote team Le Havre 3 1. This was the first time that they conceded that many goals. Meanwhile, uh, you know, the defense doesn't seem as sound either uh, under their Italian coach. Um, we have to see. It's a young a young coach, re relatively in in inexperienced, but that Nice is being up there actually also bodes well for them. I think they might be good for a Champions League spot. But however, that leaves us with the clear title favorite. I mean, PSG is it now with five points clear atop the table. Um, yes, they did not always look good. Yes, uh, Kylian Mbappé is not happy with, with his role. Yes, he once got a hat, hat trick, and then uh, Coach Luis Enrique said, yeah, uh, great for other goals, but I want him to do so much more. He has to do the running, not just stand there and tap in the goals. And we know that Kylian Mbappé does not like the defensive work. Um, so yeah, uh, there's there's some unrest. It's, we still don't know how Dembele and you know, the whole front line is quite work, working out, but the team is getting more and more into the Luis Enrique shape. Um, I don't. It's very much a transition year for them as well, and that, that's why it's a little bit galling that Monaco is also in transition. Nice, um, you know, is that, 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 that doesn't have have to punch, and OM is also very very much in trouble. So uh, there is not a real clear challenger to PSG when they are clearly vulnerable, as we have seen in Europe. I don't think that PSG will do much this year in the Champions League. Uh, they might actually get eliminated by the Real Sociedad, a team that is much more settled than PSG currently are. Of course, there's the talent there, and that is always a big draw. I mean, uh, watching PSG is always fun, but it's not quite there yet. However, they will probably relatively easily win this title. Uh, it has to be said so, so far. My model gives them currently 99% and that seems about right. So uh, with all that on the current CCC situation, it's probably also interesting to look at the last uh, set of results. Brest 4-0 in the derby against Loire. Lorient, both teams all the way far in the west in the Bretagne. Start Rennes with a rare win, but it is against last place Clermont Foot. Uh, Lyon, as I said, third win in a row, 1-0. OM a little bit damper uh, with a 1-1 and Montpellier, but you know this Montpellier side is squarely uh, mid-table and it's kind of, not really, but kind of a, a derby, whereas Nice get a pretty big win 2-0 over overloss. Uh, PSG's win over Mets is probably the only one that we saw. High highlights, brilliant Mbappé goal uh, in there for the make, make, make 2-0. He also makes, uh, make, scores the third goal and his brother. Ethan also been brought on, kind of celebrating his birthday. Both brothers actually have the birthdays very close together, so Christmas and birthdays. It's very fits all very well in the Mbappé family. Uh, Staterin Spirit, Le Havre Staterin, as I said, also a team that has been up there and probably getting a little bit of Strasbourg big two win win over Lille. And then we have not said much about Toulouse, but I said so much about Toulouse when they played the again against Las Cow. I'm actually not very excited about that. Monaco get the 2-1 win to stay up there. Um, after having a look at standings here, the expected standings after this round in the CPSG in Nice, Monaco, Lille actually in a loss in Marseille, so Brest probably a little bit higher than we would expect. On the bottom, Metz, Lorient, Clermont, Foot, Toulouse, Nantes, uh, and Le Havre should survive. And you see Lyon actually more mid-table at the 40 points that one would always say this is the safety mark. When does Liga come back? It comes back on the 12th of January uh, with a very interesting fixture. Because last year, coming back, it was also lost against PSG, where you saw everything falling apart for PSG. Remember, before the World Cup, PSG, great. After the World Cup, PSG atrocious. Will it be now to, uh, turn around? Monaco, Stade de Reims is also a really interesting one. Nice have to go to Rennes. Uh, as I said, a Rennes team that has been largely disappointing so far. Far and then Leroy Lyon, hmm. interesting one. Also in Marseille, Strasbourg, of course, that's a league or classic to kick it all off on Friday, January 12th. So those are my thoughts on league uh, so far. Let, let me know if you agree or disagree with me. Also, I'm not following league uh, as closely as I probably follow other leagues. So if you have anything to add, please let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.